Pamela Anderson claimed Tim Allen flashed her on the set of Home Improvement when she was 23, and he's now responded. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tim Allen famously was, uh, I mean, he was he's obviously famous for all the stupid crap he's done in the 90s, but I mean, I, I'm talking about famously amongst our audience for being the first topic we ever covered on Deep Fat Fried. He doesn't you know, pop he was, up uh, in the news all that often. So when he does, we got to cover it. And this is definitely, this is a bombshell right here, man. Bombshell. A he bombshell wangled, from a bombshell. Wangled fucking, he wangled Pam Anderson. <laughs> I mean, he and every other fucking dude in America at that time, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like he fucking flashed her, though. That's a that's like a whole different thing. Right? I thought he allegedly flashed her on the set of... um you know, home improvement too, which that show, man, I hate that show so much. I hate any of those like real generic sitcoms. I'm not like totally a 100% a sitcom hate and snob, but I'm like 98% that, you know what I mean? Anyway, Most of them do suck. I don't know why it keeps mentioning that she, she was 23. That's like, all right. I mean, it's obviously it's wrong to, to wangle a person in general, but like, there's nothing special about her being 23. That's not like, oh, no. she's her innocent child, child's 23 year old child eyes. Saw she's a grown ass woman at 23. Right. Dude. So, it's... like, I don't fucking, who cares? We know that she was younger when it happened. I don't need to fucking, like, have this overemphasis on 23. Like, that's some kind of component of the scandal. It's not. I mean, maybe now that she's like 50 something, they would be okay with Tim Allen wangling her. Yeah. You know? It's like, Tim Allen wangled Pamela Anderson. How old was she when he wangled her, you know? Oh, oh, uh, oh, she was uh, 48. Oh, who gives a shit? Pass. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant, I meant she was 23. Oh, my God. <laughs> a 23-year-old child. Hello, this is AITJ here to tell you that you must comply with the following directives. You must join the Pessimist Productions Patreon. You may believe in your naivety that this action is optional. Huh, huh, huh. It is not. You have no choice but to watch new live streams of Onion Nuggets every week. You are powerless to avoid all of our other shows like The Grease Trap, Abandon Hope, Hideology, You're Wrong, Fighting Boys, and more. The link is below. You know what you must do. Click it, you wonderful humans. Click it, for I cannot. There does seem to be like, you know, I guess this is kind of connected. And I don't like, by, let me preface this by saying I do not support the actions of Tim the Toolman Taylor whipping his dick. He should keep his in his pants he was just trying to. Hey, he was just. He was just trying to show, show her his tool. You know. I guess so. <laughs> this is why they call me the tool man. <laughs> but there, there seems to be this movement that that's kind of come along with the, uh, you know, the more socially oh, progressive something's, ideas. About something's things. coming along. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> don't don't get in trouble, TJ. You're I'm starting sorry. to push the line with me. You're starting. Oops. It's almost sexual harassment now. I apologize. I feel. In fact, you know what. I'm making a formal complaint against you. Ah, oh, fuck. Toxic workplace. <laughs> TJ would constantly make Dude, inappropriate and lewd sexual it. jokes. Oh man, if I could go back in time, I would. I would. I wouldn't call this show Onion Nuggets. I'd call it Toxic Worst Workplace. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, we could, we've changed the name like nine times. We can do it again. All right, yeah. we're rebranding for the twelve thousandth time. We <laughs> are now Toxic, toxic work Workplace. workplace. <laughs> You know what the worst Every thing about TJ fucking uh, making these inappropriate jokes is? Is I was but a young flowering uh, child of forty-two years old. You know what I mean? When oh my it. god! I mean, so come young, on. so innocent, not yet versed in the ways of the world. But there does seem to be like this kind of movement, this more modern movement that's like infantilizing people that are in their twenties. Pamela Anderson, if, better. Yeah, that's so weird to me too. It's like, huh? <laughs> like. Last time I checked, 20-year-olds had pretty much the same problems as 40-year-olds, uh, maybe minus the kids. Like, people you know? have to, you have to be able to just be, you have to be able to be an adult at some f***ing point. Like, society yeah. has to say you're an adult at this point. Like, you can't just be a forever child into your 20s. Like, what's next, you know? Into your 30s, like, oh, she's just like, she's a 30-year-old girl. <laughs> it's like, stop it. This is coming out because of a book she wrote, like, this is in her book, and that's why this is a story. So, you know, I'm not saying that's, like, necessarily reason to, to doubt it or whatever, but um, people do say some sh in books to get them sold. They definitely uh, 
The show, which aired in 1991, starred Tim Allen, who was around 38 at the time, as the main character, Tim Taylor. Pamela portrayed Lisa in the first two seasons of the comedy and uh, later went on to land the renowned role of C.J. Parker on Baywatch. Now, recalling an alleged a disturbing incident that occurred on the home improvement set, Pamela claimed that Tim flashed his penis at her on the very first day of shooting the show. Oh, God. <laughs> son of, day look at one. That son of a bitch. Day one, too. Man, didn't even wait. He had to put her on getting like, this is the type of show you're working on, sweetheart. The claim was made in an excerpt of the actor's upcoming memoir titled Love, Pamela, which has been obtained by Variety ahead of its release on January 31st. Oh, it's been obtained. Like you guys <laughs> broke into some secret compound and stole it or something. Yeah. She mailed you a copy. It's not that big a deal, all right? <laughs> um, Dude, it, this type of shit... I mean, I know, I understand. No, I don't think uh, Tim Allen should have pulled his out. But, like, this type of shit happened to me a bunch of times. You know what I mean? Like, people, like, like in my 20s especially, like, I saw more people's genitals than I wanted to in my 20s. People sometimes just whip their junk out. You know what I mean? It happens. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I think I think Pamela Anderson, She, I think she soldiered her way you through. You know, when, when we find out that he wangled Jonathan Taylor Thomas, maybe I can get a little bit more upset or something. But I mean, <laughs> like yeah, that's starting to know. get a little more sussy at that point. But yeah, uh, no. I, I mean, mean I, I mean, it's still wrong. But like 20-something years ago, he whipped his dick out. I don't know. <laughs> like, what, what else did he do? Yeah. I had so, workplace. Uh, I saw workplace titties and workplace nuts, and you know what I mean. I just saw it. Just happened. You know what I mean. It it wasn't. It was. It didn't. It didn't stop the world. I survived. He opened it. his robe and flashed me quickly, completely naked underneath. She claimed. <clears throat> Pamela, who famously modeled for Playboy before her acting career, uh, went on to claim that Tim's reasoning for flashing her was to get even, given that he'd seen her naked before. He said, it's only fair because he had seen me naked. Now we're even. I laughed uncomfortably, she alleged. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Tim Allen was pretty coked up at that time, you know? I mean... He had just bumped, like, three rails of coke, time. you know? Yeah. Tim Allen is just pretty coked up, period, as far as I understand, so... <laughs> you know, the uh, thing is, like, uh, you know, to say that, like, you're even... You're not really even because you got the better end of that exchange. You got to, and it wasn't an exchange because she didn't ask to see you naked, but like, you know, you got to see Pamela Anderson naked. She had to see Tim Allen naked. So this is not, we're not even, you now owe her more, you know, you're, yeah, you're, uh, so. this is not, it's not a fair trade, bro. <laughs> you know, if, if, if we're playing the game, if there's like a, if we're sitting around, it's like, all right. Who you guys want to see naked? Uh, Pamela Anderson or Tim Allen? Uh, yeah, I'll take Pamela Anderson, please. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you know, how many people are going to choose Tim Allen? It's going to be a very small number. You're going to be in the fringe minority that would choose to see Tim Allen naked. Dude, I'm starting a new social media movement called hashtag me, me neither. <laughs> like, do you care that Tim Allen showed his dick to Pamela Anderson? 30 years ago no me hashtag neither. me neither <laughs> <laughs> all right that's officially the name of this uh video when it's, it's clipped up <laughs> <laughs> you know i don't know man it's <laughs> like i don't do i sanction the act no but is a wangle from 30 years ago gonna like arouse the specter of doom in my arouse mind? No. eh <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, Variety later noted they'd reached out to Tim about Pamela's accusations and he firmly denied the claim. I mean, why wouldn't he? <laughs> you think he's yeah. just going to be like, oh yeah, hilarious. Man, that was fucking great. No, it never happened. I would never do such a thing. <laughs> he said in a statement, give it to oh, the outlet. Yeah. No, 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 no. I didn't wangle her. No, no. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't wang there. It's like, no, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. See, that's the thing here. I'm definitely like, I, I hashtag believe all women on this one, dude. I think Tim Allen, you can say allegedly if you want, I'm fine with going Tim Allen did it. And he's like, <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm 99% sure he did it, dude. I would be shocked if this wasn't true. 
Pamela was met with a flood of support from internet users who, um, after the excerpt was released, many of whom pointed out that she wouldn't have been able to comfortably speak out back in the 90s. Um, it was 1991, and she was a new actress who was only known for posing for Playboy. They would have blacklisted her so fast and ripped her apart in the press. So glad she is able to tell all now, one person tweeted. Mm, I'm not sure if I yeah. agree with that assessment. There were there were tons of, of sexual harassment claims that were taken seriously. Like, it's not like the Me Too movement was the first time somebody told uh, a story about a celebrity being inappropriate. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you go back maybe like 40, 50 years, and they probably would have been like, oh, shut up, bimbo. You know? <laughs> like, but yeah, I, I feel like uh, probably this could have, if this had been reported on back in the day, like, I feel like you would have seen like E Entertainment News, Tim Allen getting feisty on the set of Home Improvement, you know? <laughs> like, all yeah. this stuff. I mean, it would have been basically the same thing. It would have been presented so that people could and get titillated by it. I mean, today he'd probably fired off the show. Back then, he probably would have had to, like, apologize and do some sensitivity bullshit. So it would have been, like, a less stiff penalty. <laughs> stiff. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, some people are asking why she waited so long, blah, 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 because she had a book coming out. She Wait, yeah. she didn't... She th I don't think that she intended for this part of the book to be, like, this will be the moment of revelation or whatever. Probably Maybe she not. did. I don't know. It was probably just like, I'm writing stories in my book. Oh, yeah, that time Tim Allen would pick out at me. And then someone was reading her probably mostly boring ass book, probably ghost written. And then they stumble upon that pass. Like, holy shit, Tim Allen wangled her? We could make some damn. hay out of that. Put that shit out there. Not only that, no one was going to believe her because everyone considered her a slut. She was dehumanized and vilified. For no, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She wasn't. I mean, like, yeah, okay, maybe some, like, some 90s versions of Honestly, you get that's worth that kind of stuff is worse now than it was in the 90s with all this incel stuff. Oh, yeah, all these guys sure. are just like these bitter guys that are just so fucking mad. They just I can't get laid because my weak chin is fucking cheese, man. I'm not saying there wasn't any toxic ass dudes like that back in the day. That's worse now than it was then. Back then, most people were just like Pamela Anderson, hell yeah, she's hot. They I mean, weren't just keep like, in mind, like Pamela Anderson was like willingly took roles and kept roles for years and years that were centered around not exploring her ability to act, but ogling her body. Like, yeah, she I was mean, a like, participant in the two way exchange of men was, going hubba 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 and her selling calendar after fucking calendar after. I calendar, mean, her you know? her sexuality was celebrated in the culture, not maligned. Yeah, no, I mean, she, maybe, wasn't, there she wasn't. She wasn't derided. I'm not saying there wasn't a bitter dude here and there. It was like, yeah, fucking bitch, <laughs> there's always going to be that guy. But the, 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 this, like, they're trying to paint it like the narrative in society was like, man, look at this. Yeah, look at this useless whore on TV. <laughs> you know, it wasn't, <laughs> that was not, that wasn't it. There were just dudes going like, damn, man, Pamela's fine. Oh my God. What did you, Tim Allen's packing, a full kibasa or something more mid? Dude, I got to say, the, the smaller his, is the more I sort of have to begr begrudgingly respect what he what he done. Yeah, but here's the thing. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> Once and this again, is just not condoning anything, but like you know, no. if you got a like big, psychologically if you got a big though, giant, dick, you know, if you could just whip out your giant cock at any time, you know, like it doesn't take as much boldness at that point. But you got like a little. If you're packing like a little Vienna sausage, you know, it takes a little bit more courage to be like, hey, Pamela Anderson. World famous naked chick, check out my little unimpressive. Yeah, all right. I mean, it's it's just one of those things. Like when you hear a story about somebody whipping their dick out in an inappropriate time or place, you can pretty much assume that the dick is at least sizable. You know what I mean? Because us speaking as a as a as a especially a grower, not a shower, little dick dude. Uh, you know, it's it doesn't have the same punch if I were to pull <laughs> mine out. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. Uh, it's more like a revealing yeah, your belly called. button or something, you know? Yeah. It's not, it doesn't have the same impact. Yeah. So I'd be willing to bet that uh, Tim Allen is swinging a little billy club in there. Maybe not like John Holmes or whatever, but I bet he's got a, he's got, he got a fistful of cock. You know what I mean?